Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to talk about the OnePlus 7 and what to expect. The OnePlus 7 is going to come out soon. I'm assuming they might have an event sometime in April and by early May it should be available. And in fact, I had made a similar video prior to the release of the OnePlus 60 about two months before that. And I got almost 90% of the stuff what was there on this uh, OnePlus uh, 60, correct? So let's dive into this and what I feel will the, the OnePlus 7 get. And obviously, it'll come with the Snapdragon 855 chipset. Now let's move to the design aspect and some of the things which I feel might change from this OnePlus uh, 6T. Uh, and I feel uh, we have seen many rumors that it will have a slider or something like that. I I don't think so that will happen the form factor will be similar to this one but i think so they might uh, uh, change the drop down design to this uh, punch hole design like we are seeing in this uh, on this is on a view 20 and even the galaxy s10 will have that so i think so they will do that there have been a lot of rumors that it will have a slider mechanism but i doubt the oneplus would do that because generally the slider mechanism there is a high chance of things going wrong over in the long term and generally oneplus devices uh, age very well so i doubt it will have the slider mechanism now moving to uh, fingerprint again it won't have a physical fingerprint uh, scanner that was ditched on the oneplus uh, uh, 60. again it will have some sort of in display fingerprint scanner and generally what in display fingerprint scanners we are seeing right now is like this you have a target area over there and you click it unlocks and it has been in a multiple of devices this is the oppo r17 uh, pro this also has the same stuff like this but the thing is that again you have to be accurate and your target is just this if you just press it on the side it won't unlock and it's not that fast but uh, as uh, we know this uh, oneplus uh, 7 will be using the snapdragon 855 chipset there is another technology for this in display fingerprint scanner by qualcomm that is ultrasonic fingerprint scanner and the advantage of that is that technically they can have just let's say even half of the screen like a fingerprint scanner so any place you click it will register as a fingerprint and that should make things a lot better and it's been rumored that the samsung galaxy s10 will be having some sort of uh, ultrasonic fingerprint uh, scanner so maybe oneplus might also go with this one that one and that will make the experience of the fingerprint scanner a lot better right now with this uh, in display fingerprint technology you have to actually look at it and target it over here then only it unlocks like for example if i just uh, press without seeing like this it might not unlock so there's a high chance it can come because it's a technology by qualcomm and obviously oneplus is using qualcomm chip so i'm 50 50 on that because it's been rumored that the galaxy s10 will have the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner now this is a big thing and i feel the, finally oneplus will improve the camera and if you know oneplus oneplus many of the oneplus devices are based on what we have seen with the oppo devices this is the oppo r17 pro and this was launched in december uh, but the big thing with this one is that the camera are actually hugely improved on this one compared to the what we are seeing on the oneplus this actually has variable aperture and that opens up huge potential for example in low lighting uh, the aperture can open a lot to get in more light and outdoor it closes for example the s9 plus even note 9 have that so i think so a oneplus might also implement something like that and there are very high rumors that now the oneplus will uh, actually with the oneplus 7 might go with the triple camera setup and I think so I'm 50 50 on that uh, because if they do that definitely they can go with the wide angle lens which actually makes a lot of uh, difference so I really hope they improve the camera performance and put new sensors something like variable aperture and stuff and that can be done because their parent company already Oppo is uh, doing that so I uh, hope to see improvements in the camera because if we look at the cameras uh, uh, with the OnePlus 6 OnePlus 60 we didn't see a huge improvement yes via software they're improving it but the hardware the secondary lens on the oneplus uh, uh what do you say 660 was doing not that great job nothing spectacular but i hope with the oneplus 7 they really change and do something special with the camera like variable aperture or even a wide angle lens now moving to the charger we have seen this oppo's oppo has the super walk charging 50 watt charger but i don't think so that would come to the oneplus 7 but 
I am like almost 90% certain that we'll get that wrap charging that was used in this special edition of the OnePlus. That's actually a 30 watt charger. Uh, currently the dash charger is a 20 watt charger. So I'm uh, assuming that we will get the wrap charger in the default setting. I don't think so the super walk will come because for super walk, what manufacturers have to do it because it's very high voltage, separate the batteries into two parts and that will increase the cost. So I doubt it'll have super walk, but we'll have that wrap 30 watt charging. Uh, now moving to another thing and I hope uh, there have not been rumors around this one but I really hope OnePlus finally with this OnePlus 7 has some official IP rating which is actually missing on the OnePlus devices and there have been also rumors that uh, it might get wireless charging because it has now has the glass back but I frankly feel with the OnePlus 7 we, while, uh, we might not get wireless charging because to my, uh, according to my sources, industry sources, I've talked to a lot of people, they say that wireless charging if you implement it increases increases the cost quite a bit. So maybe with the OnePlus 7, we might not get wireless charging, but I think so if we get IP rating, that is a better thing than wireless charging. Also, I hope again on this I'm 50-50, they might do it uh, with the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7 team, they might do it if they don't do it with the OnePlus 7. I really hope they give stereo speakers. That makes a huge difference. And now uh, moving to the pricing again, as we have seen uh, the pricing of these OnePlus devices is actually increasing with every generation. So I'm assuming uh, even with the OnePlus 7, that will be the same case in India. Currently the uh, base variant of the OnePlus is about 38,000. So I'm assuming the OnePlus 7 might be about 40 to 41,000, that 40,990 uh, price point. So definitely a price increase. And yes, there will also be a 5G version of the OnePlus 7. But I'm not very sure if they will launch it at in India because the pricing of that will be significantly higher and it simply does not make any sense as of now because we simply don't have any 5G networks in India. But uh, frankly speaking, apart from this, what I feel with the OnePlus 7 should at least have is stereo speakers and some sort of IP protection. It's high time they provide those features because now the OnePlus 7 might be crossing that 40,000 price uh, mark so anyways what do you guys think about the one plus seven and what are the features that you would like to see on the one plus seven would love to hear your uh, comments so again do share your thoughts in the youtube comment section below and guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranchit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys